Welcome back YouTube to Icy Chap's Edge. I'm Icy Chap with a continuation of my series of videos on rope and knot time. Uh, this is going to be a short video on what I like to call the hanger coil. Basically it's my favorite way of coiling a rope and it's good for storing as well as carrying your rope and here's why. Number one, it's got this nice loop which you can use to attach to a carabiner and hang the coil off of your gear. Number two, it's a nice tight and secure coil that if you just throw this inside of a pack it will not come undone on its own. It's a very secure coil. And number three, despite the fact that it's got these nice tight coils, uh, it is not going to stress or put kinks in your rope, which is very important for a coil. Uh, kinks and stresses in your rope over time will weaken the fibers and the last thing you want is a rope that's going to fail when you really need it. So uh, to untie the coil, Basically, you find the loose end which has been secured by a loop. And as you can see, here's the loose end I'm talking about, and here's the loop. I grab hold of that loop, and it shouldn't be too difficult to just give it a tug and loosen it up a little bit. And there it's loose. I can now pull the loose end back through that loop, and now it comes free. I just grab the loop at the opposite end of that loose end and simply pull until I unravel all of my coils. And you'll notice that it does put some coils in that rope or I should say kinks, but to remove the kinks is very easy. Uh, remember those kinks did not form while uh, the rope was stationary or static in the coil but only after I uncoil it. So to remove those kinks I grab the rope with my fist and I just pull it through. And my fist will filter out, so to speak, all of those kinks. Eesh, that's some dust. Okay, so how do we tie the hanger coil? Well, it's very easy. What we do is we take one loose end of our rope, create a bite, and then create another bite. And basically create like this accordion. Now how large it, it has to be really depends on the overall length of your rope but here's the rule of thumb and you can accordion back and forth as many times as you want to eat up some of your rope uh, so that you don't have such a long coil but basically the rule of thumb is this uh, for these three strands you can generally wrap about six times the length of rope so if this were 12 inches long I could probably wrap about six feet of rope around it so you'll have to make whatever adjustments you need to based on the length of your rope. This is not a very long rope, so I can make a much shorter coil. So here's what you do. After you've created those bites, you want to pinch the side away from your loose end. So I'm going to pinch this side here. And I'm then going to take the remaining length of rope and I'm going to wrap it around the loop that's created and itself about three times. So once, twice, and three times. Now, once I've done that, I'm actually going to switch hands so I can show you the other side. And with my loose hand now, I'm going to grab the free end of rope and place my thumb where it meets, I guess, the main folds of rope. And then with my other hand, just rotate like so and create coils and wrap my loose rope around the stationary folds. And you'll note that while I do this it actually does not create kinks. The rope is coiled but it is not stressed and that is very important for storing your rope. So you just keep going, keep rotating it until all of your rope is wrapped around and I actually estimated pretty well. Okay. Now, once you've reached about the end of your loose end here, what you want to do is you want to pass it through that loop. Okay, and kind of hang on to it so that it doesn't come free. And then on the other side, you want to tug on the side, and you'll, you'll have to do a trial and error, but once you figure out which side is actually attached to the loop as opposed to the free end, 
you basically want to tug on that, and you see that was the wrong end. You actually want to tug on it until it shrinks that loop enough that it grabs the loose end and keeps it nice and secure. And what that creates is a nice secure coil which has a nice loop on the end and that's why I call it the hanger coil because you can hang it off of your gear if you attach a carabiner or something else or maybe even another piece of cord. And it's very secure, nice and tight, does not stress the rope but uh, very useful and you can store your rope or carry your rope like this all the time. So there you have it, that's the hanger coil. Uh, if you have any questions leave comments and I will try to answer them. But uh, stay tuned for more in my series of videos on rope and knot tying. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Wow. Wow.